Hey there everybody and welcome to a Geometry Dash tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make a replica of the new swing game mode. So I'm just going to call this swing. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a ball portal. It doesn't necessarily have to be a ball portal, I don't think. And just for looks, I'm going to put a yellow portal above it because it's confirmed that the swing is going to be yellow. So I'm just putting that there. And so the first thing we want to do is, of course, you know, maybe put this here and get an alpha trigger to just, you know, hide it. So let's get an alpha trigger, set the group ID to 1, fade time 0, opacity 0. Let's set this to be on group 1. So now if we deselect it, it's, it's nowhere to be seen. So this is good. Now what we're going to want to do, and this is, you know, a slightly time taking type bit. What we want to do is we want to, one second, I want to check guidelines first for this, so I know how high it's going to be, okay, so I can delete this and this. Right, so now what I'm going to want to do is just place a bunch of these, let's just turn on swipe. Okay, so now that we've got a bunch of these, what we're going to want to do is go and select all of these, and then we're just going to copy and paste them a bunch. So we're just gonna copy and paste these a bunch now that we've got a bunch of them and we're gonna move them you know, over so there's no overlapping because that'd be not very space efficient and then copy and paste again and over that kind of thing now we've got a nice sort of longish track let me just move them one more time so now that we've got this nice long sort of track way what we're gonna want to do is select the entire track and you're gonna want to set the group to be your alpha group so now if i deselect they're completely invisible then already you can see that we kind of have swing reminiscent gameplay. It will, it will, you know, sort of act as if it's a swing. So now to make a decorational sort of swing, which actually looks kind of like the swing, what we're going to want to do, and this is where it gets a little bit more tricky. So you're going to want to go on to one of the decoration tabs. I'm not sure which one it is because I haven't done this in a bit. Yeah, here it is. Okay, all right, so you're going to want to do this one second. Can this one be scaled up to the right sort of size? No. Oop. Okay, so I guess we can just copy and paste this over a bunch of times. And move it over, copy and paste. Down, move it over, copy and paste. Along, move it over. Now if we just deselect. Okay, I had to make that slightly off the grid, didn't I? One second, let me just boop. There we go, and boop, there we go, fixed. Now it's a nice little circle on the grid kind of thing. Um. <laughs> it's a bit big. That's about the right size. But this one pulses, which is annoying. Um, it's only there was a non-pulsing big object, which is an actual full circle. Please, Rob Tob. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to use this one. It's slightly opacent or slightly opaque and jitters a bunch with the music. So actually, I might want to use a bigger one if it's gonna be that small most of the time. Actually, yeah, if that's its maximum size. That's the wrong one. That's the right one. And I am going to set its group ID to be two. And then the move time can be uh four point Thirty-five seconds, I guess, or let's just go for four point four. And now, uh, what we can do? Actually, you know what? I think I, I think actually, may, maybe I just wasted my time with the follow player Y trigger. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so yeah, you can just lock it to player Y. And then what you'll want to do is, you'll want to wait. I think you could just lock it to player X. Yeah, so that's all you want to do, really. You want to lock it to player X and lock it to player Y, and then just make sure you have the right time. And now, hopefully, 
You should have a circle following you. Unfortunately, I'm a doofus. Oh, wait. Um, <laughs> I think I forgot to put this on group two. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. So now, hopefully... Hey! So there's only one problem, <laughs> and that is um, that uh, this is, like, a bit wrong. So there we go. That should be fine, almost, to some extent. Why is it doing that? Why is it going up there? I'm gonna put a hide trigger in the portal. So that means that, you know, as soon as the player passes through the portal, they'll be invisible. Oh, I just realized why they're raising up out of the portal. It's because, uh, I've got a yellow portal there. You know what I should do? I should just move this along a little bit so it's a lot less noticeable. I'm just going to move this along as close as I can possibly get it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So now, that's good. And if we just set the alpha trigger back to... Also, one little tip here. Always put your triggers under the ground unless they're, like, touch triggered. That's just a little recommendation. So now, you have a somewhat working swing game mode. And, um... Yeah, and also, I actually, I don't think you have to have it be specifically the perfect move time. I think, now that it's locked to player X and Y, you can just have it move for as long as you want. And it should work. So yeah, now that we're out of there, uh, and it should have been done, it's still working, so that's fine. And now all that's left to do is maybe turn on these again as a guideline sort of thing, but maybe only like halfway. Uh, so you just know where they are. And now you can put in obstacles. You can, you know, place some tiles, you can place some more tiles, you can load, you can place even more tiles, you can, you know, decorate your level a little bit and make a little swing challenge. Um, this didn't take 11 minutes to film. Um, that's actually kind of embarrassing. Oops, over. But yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of that simple to make your own swing. You can do a little bit more for decoration. And I would put spikes on these to make it so you can't just, you know, trick the game into letting you roll on them. So if I just go like that and uh, like that and that and maybe like that. And, oh, that's the wrong thing. Like that and like that. And then that should be fine. Um, and then you just put little spikes on them. You know. And now, if you just fully hide all your alpha things, so opacity zero, and then I guess maybe just pretty up your swing a little bit by maybe adding an arrow onto the end of it to make it somewhat look like the swing. And you know. Maybe scale it up a little bit so that it kind of sticks out of the back. Because, you know, locking it to the X and Y of the player may screw it up a little bit. So, just do that. And it should hopefully look kind of good. And it should work. And that should be a sort of functioning swing for you. Particles, square. Rotate his object. Let's just go for an orange. Boom. And now set that to be on group two. Now you should have a little trail. Yeah. So there you go. Now you've got your own little swing prototype thing. And um, yeah, I hope you find this video useful and I will see you the next time I do a video.